Chapter Point 1. Cultivation. You are listening at FameTV.info. Explicacos do Mundo Marcial de Wiki Introduction Cultivation was the most important factor in a martial artist backslash s feat, but it was not the only factor. Martial skills, combat instincts, combat skills, field experience, the degree of thickness of the true essence, all of this can affect one backslash s fighting ability, so one can fight one up from his realm of cultivation. But for a martial artist, his cultivation was the foundation for all. If they could not improve their cultivation, then, whatever their fighting power, that would not matter. In addition, for a martial artist, their lives were inextricably linked to their cultivation. Meaning absolute strength through cultivation was a true ultimatum of martial arts, however, this was not an absolute in the martial arts. Cultivating a genius was not necessarily better the faster he progressed. During the cultivation process, if someone had a desperate impact on the next kingdom, they could certainly rise rapidly in the realms of cultivation. But, your combat prowess may not be too surprising and your foundation may be unstable, during the cultivation process, if one were enlightened in all kinds of laws and realized many concepts, and even the dual cultivated, then it would be difficult to rise in the realms of cultivation quickly. But this was not really a problem. Since a cultivator with an extremely solid base was paving the way for divinity. So a martial artist in this respect would have unimaginable future achievements, but in the end, the key to superior cultivation was through willpower and determination. Only when a martial artist intended to pursue chance and challenge the rule of the world would it be possible to gain immortality, no matter how weak. Those who walked the martial arts road most respected and admired characters with great ambition and determination, cultivation in the martial world is fraught with endless dangers and dangers. Cultivators would need to fight for chances of luck and face the celestial Tao. The martial artist would need incredible will and spirit to survive the solitude of cultivating closed doors. The way of martial arts was like this. As long as a person backslash s base was solid enough, each advance would bring immeasurable progress and strength at astronomical speeds, but what the martial road brings is the prolonged longevity for which all martial artists crave, this was one of the most fascinating aspects of following the martial way in which one could extend his youth, those who cultivated martial arts were unwilling to resign themselves to the ebb of time. Over the years, his strength and life force would slowly be sucked out. Even with the ability to move mountains and seas, they finally failed to escape the slow changes of fate, Often a martial artist constantly looked for lucky chances, going through layers on layers of dangers to climb to a higher peak of martial arts. What led them was not only to spy on the wonders of the laws of the celestial Tao, but also to obtain a longer youth and a longer life. Even an Empyrean was unable to achieve that weak and illusory immortality that existed in the legends. As for the possibility of attaining immortality through the martial path and beyond the scope of the celestial Tao, it has always been a riddle, this was destiny, the final destination that no one could avoid. Cultivation path pulse condensation When a cultivator opens the channel of the meridians for true essence to enter will one achieve pulse condensation. And to most mortal cultivators, the pulse condensation stage is a huge bottleneck, for it greatly increases the speed in which true essence is absorbed compared to the previous boundaries. An example is how true essence if only flows inside the organs and bones, it would just be like a carriage running into shallow seas and swamps. It would just be mired there. However, if true essence penetrates into the meridians and flows there, then it would be unimpeded like a fast horse in the open field. There was simply no comparison between them. Hotian Hotian realm, also known as the pre celestial stage, is the start of cultivating the essence gathering system. Only when both the meridians and the Dantian truly connect with each other will one step into the pre celestial stage after a marshal reached the Hotian realm, that was the time they opened their Dantian and would begin to train it. During the Hotian realm, one backslash s true essence would be a mess without any organization to it so their reserves of true essence would be extremely limited, the ideal breakthrough is when one let backslash s true essence overflow until it reaches the Dantian.
making it a more stable foundation. Xientian it is said that at Xientian will one revert back to the state of being born and even buy in the pure Xientian air as food without satiating oneself with Hotian food for weeks. Hence, the amount of true essence formed and bought will be more greater and more organized. It is also known as post celestial stage. 3. In a mortal world, the Xientian realm could be considered the peak level. Having the ability to move the wind and rain as they please, enjoying an existence even kings yearn for. In Stellar Martial World Wiki Atenko. Migramos o Dominio de Sua Comunidade para Fandom.com. Saiba mais nesta pagina da ajuda do fandom. Mundo Marcial Wikia Cultivo Introduca Cultivo FOI O Fader Mais Importante na Proiza de Comate de Um Artista Marcial, Mas Neo FOI O Unico Fader. Habilidades Marciais, Instintos de Comate, Habilidades de Comate, Experiencia de Campo, O Grau de Especia de Essencia Verdadeira, Tudo Isso Pod Afatar A Capacidade de Comate de Alguim, Portanto, Po dadasi luter um asima de seu reino de cultivo, alum disso, para um artista marcial, suas vidas estavam in extracavalment ligadas ao seu cultivo. Significado força absoluta a traves do cultivo foi um verdadeiro ultimato de artes marciais. No entanto, isso neo era um absoluto nas artes marciais. O cultivo de um genio neo era necessariamente melhor quanto mais rápido ele progredia. Durante o processo de cultivo, esse alguim tives um impacto desesperado em dirico e o proximo reino, el certament poderiam subir rapidamente nos reinos de cultivo. Mas, sua proiza de comate pod neo ser muito surpreendent e sua fundaceo pod ser instável, during the cultivation process, if one was enlightened on all sorts of laws and perceived many concepts, and also even dual cultivated, then it would be difficult to rise in cultivation realms rapidly. But this wasn't backslash t truly a problem. Since a cultivator with an extremely solid foundation was paving the road to divinity. Thus, a martial artist in this aspect would have unimaginable future achievements, but in the end, key to higher cultivation was through one backslash s will power and determination. Only when a martial artist had the drive to seek lucky chances and defy the world rule would it be possible to gain immortality, no matter how faint, those that walk down the road of martial arts most respected and admired characters with great ambition and drive. Cultivation in the martial world is filled with endless dangers and perils. Cultivators would need to fight for lucky chances and stand against the heavenly Tao. Martial artists would need incredible will and spirit to survive the solitude of closed-door cultivation, the road of martial arts was like this. As long as one backslash s foundation was solid enough, then every breakthrough would bring immeasurable progress and strength at astronomical speeds. But what the martial road brings is extended longevity which all martial artists yearn for, those that cultivated martial arts were not willing to resign themselves to the ebb of time. As years passed, their life force and strength would be slowly sucked away. Even though they had the ability to move mountains and sunder seas, they finally couldn't backslash t escape the slow changes of destiny. Often, a martial artist would constantly seek out lucky chances, passing through layers upon layers of dangers to climb to a higher peak of martial arts. What drove them was not just peeping at the wonders of the heavenly Tao laws, but also to obtain longer youth and longer life, even an Empyrean was unable to achieve that faint and illusory immortality that existed in legends. As for whether one could even achieve immortality through the martial path and surpass the scope of the heavenly Tao, that had always been an enigma. The great Tao was boundless and the heavens and earth were heartless. An ancient beauty that could bring the downfall of the worlds, a goddess of peerless grace and talent, even someone like this couldn't backslash, t escaped the fate of becoming nothing but bones. As for those ancient rulers of a hundred races, those peerless proud sons of heaven, in the end they too turned to dust, their bones scattered in the wind. This was destiny, the final fate that no one could avoid, Cultivation Path Note Entirely based on Lin Ming backslash S. Marshall Road, Experiences and Ideal Breakthroughs, Essence Gathering System
They are a detailed descriptions of the lower to higher boundaries of cultivation, breakthroughs and strength gauge, pulse condensation when a cultivator opens the channel of the meridians for true essence to enter will one achieve pulse condensation. And to most mortal cultivators, the pulse condensation stage is a huge bottleneck, for it greatly increases the speed in which true essence is absorbed compared to the previous boundaries. An example is how true essence if only flows inside the organs and bones, it would just be like a carriage running into shallow seas and swamps. It would just be mired there. However, if true essence penetrates into the meridians and flows there, then it would be unimpeded like a fast horse in the open field. There was simply no comparison between them, one, Hotian realm, also known as the pre-celestial stage, is the start of cultivating the essence gathering system. Only when both the meridians and the Dantian truly connect with each other will one step into the pre-celestial stage after a marshal reached the Hotian realm, that was the time they opened their Dantian and would begin to train it. During the Hotian realm, one backslash s true essence would be a mess without any organization to it, so their reserves of true essence would be extremely limited, the ideal breakthrough is when one let backslash s true essence overflow until it reaches the Dantian, making it a more stable foundation. 2. Shintian once the true essence within the Dantian condensed into a cyclone, there would then be order. The total amount of true essence would increase and it would also become much easier to control. In forming a vortex and an organized system inside the Dantian will one achieve Sientian realm. It is said that at Sientian will one revert back to the state of being born and even buy in the pure Sientian air as food without satiating oneself with Hotian food for weeks. Hence, the amount of true essence formed and bought will be more greater and more organized. It is also known as post celestial stage. 3. In a mortal world, the Sientian realm could be considered the peak level. Having the ability to move the wind and rain as they please, enjoying an existence even kings yearn for, revolving core at this stage, a martial artist backslash s Dantian will condense crystals made from concentrated levels of true essence that will gather and constantly spin like a tornado at the very center of the Dantian forming a revolving crystal core with their true essence increasing by a large margin compared to the previous boundary. Life destruction backslash journey towards ninefall backslash means to reach the ninth stage of life destruction and completely transform your mortal born body into a spirit body. Without crossing the ninth stage of life destruction, it will be extremely difficult to complete the backslash nine divine shifts backslash dot fairy phone advising Lin Ming, Chapter 952, 9 Divine SHFTS Martial Artists at Life Destruction will build up their body, essence, and soul during these stages. The most perfect path to cross life destruction was divided into nine stages. The first three stages rebuilt the mortal body, the second three stages shattered and recast the revolving core, and the last three stages of life destruction reformed the soul, as though you were being reborn during the stages of life destruction, a martial artist backslash s physical body would transform into a spirit body and they would gain the characteristic of saving true essence in their flesh. This would again cause the total quantity of true essence within them to increase by several times, from the third stage of life destruction to the sixth stage of life destruction, that was to shatter the revolving core and then reform it. Although it wasn't backslash t a large boundary, it was actually greater than a small boundary. The seventh stage of life destruction was the start of tempering the soul. It was basically reforming the soul and the spiritual sea. No matter what sort of activity it was, anything that involved the soul was extremely risky. At the last three stages of life destruction, the soul would decompose but the will would not. When the soul shattered and swam through the endless void, the will was the lighthouse, the beacon that called to the soul. As long as one backslash s will didn't backslash t disintegrate, the soul could be reformed. Life destruction martial artists go through a very intense process of breaking down the body and refine it into a spirit body. But the goal of life destruction is to achieve a ninth life destruction so that one backslash s body may be baptized with the world principles, for, in seeking nine fall, the path is divided into three stages of three. They are called, essence, energy, and soul, essence meant the physical form and blood essence. 
The first three stages cultivated backslash essence backslash, meaning they decomposed the mortal body to form a spirit body. Energy was origin energy and true essence. When others said to concentrate energy into the Dantian, that was because the Dantian contained backslash energy backslash. The second three stages of life destruction cultivated this backslash energy backslash. That was to shatter the Dantian and reform the revolving core, soul meant divine soul. The final three stages were about the soul and this was also the most mysterious process essence, energy, and soul were the basis of all life, and also the basis of every martial artist's backslash martial path. The three were the most fundamental aspects of martial arts. In order to seek ninefall, one had to cultivate essence, energy, and soul to perfection before stepping into the divine sea realm, otherwise it would be extremely difficult to have great success in the future. It was said that those that crossed to the ninth stage of life destruction would pass through the dragon gate to become a true dragon. The difference between the ninth and eighth stage of life destruction was the same as the difference between the heavens and earth. Eighth stage life destruction martial artists would be mostly stranded in the divine transformation realm, with only a small number of them being able to reach the divine lord realm after obtaining enough lucky chances, but a ninth stage life destruction martial artist could easily step into the divine lord realm and reach even higher boundaries in the future. If a martial artist can cross the nine stages of life destruction, that doesn't backslash t necessarily mean one will become a divine lord. But after reaching the Divine Lord realm a martial artist's one backslash t encounter endless bottlenecks and one backslash s potential will be far greater. Point nine divine shifts after life destruction are the three great realms of Divine Sea, Divine Transformation, and Divine Lord. Each of these three large boundaries are divided into three small boundaries of early, middle, and late stages. Three small boundaries within three large boundaries, that is a total of nine. Every martial artist that walks the road of martial arts must backslash journey towards nine fall for the nine divine shifts backslash. Fairy Fong advising Lin Ming, Chapter 952, Nine Divine SHFTS Overview The Nine Divine Shifts is a stage of transforming one backslash S energy, body and soul into a greater being, similar to that of life destruction backslash S3.3. Three essence, energy and divine build-up, divine sea, divine transformation, divine lord, these three large boundaries and nine small boundaries are collectively called the nine divine shifts, similar to the nine stages of life destruction, ninefall was to overcome mortality and the divine sea was to transform into the divine. While divine transformation is an expansion of the small dimension into a true dimension realm and the divine lord realm a stage of changing one backslash s temperament or backslash soul backslash into that of a god backslash s vi point. After reaching the divine sea, the laws that a martial artist comprehended would become a part of their system and also become the heavenly Tao laws of the minor dimension. Chapter 1169 Martial Artists During the Nine Divine Shifts will undergo the process of evolving the inner world from 1000 small world, diameter up to 1000 li for normal, ordinary late stage divine sea, to 1000 big world, sky spill planet size for late stage divine lord. CH 1170 Divine Sea During Breakthrough all martial artists would experience a sudden surge of energy around them and constantly developing their inner world seed, slowly strengthening it with heaven and earth energy until the minor dimension expanded into an inner world. All martial artists would have to experience their heart demons when they crossed into the divine sea. There were very few people that would die because they couldn't backslash t overcome their heart demons. But, if they were influenced by their heart demons, this would cause the evolution of their soul to be incomplete, making their divine foundation unsteady. After arriving at the divine sea realm, a martial artist backslash s body would be completely soaked in true essence, without any more space to store more. And at this point, countless billions of years ago, the innumerable supreme elders that had forged the foundation for the road of martial arts had developed a new path. This was to form a minor dimension within the Dantian, and after true essence liquefied, to store that true essence within, divine C is a boundary focused on evolving one backslash s Dantian into a dimension or inner world. Meaning that, after reaching divine C, the Dantian would become an inner world. 
The inner world will be used to store true essence even greater than it was before while the utilization of true essence would have a qualitative leap. Breaking through into the divine sea would need the foundation of an inner world seed or an elementary minor dimension in IT.AT this stage, true essence accumulation has reached a completely different level to the point that true essence forms a sea, hence the name divine sea. In popular belief, it is considered a realm on the road towards divinity. 5. Divine Transformation Then after divine sea is divine transformation falls upon the word backslash, transformation backslash. A martial artist backslash, s spirit body transforming into a divine body. It backslash, s where you evolve the world within your dantian to a dimensional realm breaking through into divine transformation would incite an imminent expansion of one backslash, s inner world. During breakthrough, an origin reign would occur. The reign would not only enrich the inner world with greater energy, but it would also form plant life from the droplets. Depending on one backslash S system and potential, the plants would become spiritual medicines and heavenly treasures. These miracle medicinal herbs were not true plants, but plants formed by heaven and earth origin energy. If spiritual plants were to be planted in the soil of one backslash S inner world in this state they would be able to grow just like in the real world. If an animal were to enter one backslash s inner world they could also breath and survive. This was the sign when a martial artist has reached divine transformation, when a martial artist broke through to the divine transformation realm, their body would begin to transform from a spirit body to a divine body. At this time, their fires of life would greatly strengthen and their lifespan would massively increase. Their aging process would slow down and the potential of their life would also improve. A life destruction martial artist over 100 years of age would find it hard to break into the divine sea, but a divine transformation martial artist over a thousand years old still had a chance of entering the divine lord realm. This stage increases the size and quality of one backslash s inner dimension. At this boundary, one can naturally breed life inside of one backslash s inner world. The growth of the inner world varies depending on one backslash s talent. This stage is an important time for most cultivators, since usually one backslash s potential manifests at the divine transformation. 5. Divine Lord The final part of the nine divine shifts is the divine Lord realm. In this realm, one backslash s inner world will then evolve into something comparable to a planet that can hold life inside of it. Famously, it means that one has truly become God. But in hindsight is actually only a God relative to mortals. I end the nine divine shifts, the divine Lord realm was the last boundary. Divine Lord, the meaning of that was to truly become divine. Of course, this backslash, divine backslash, was relative to common mortals. A divine Lord martial artist could hold a world within their body and enjoy the worship of mortals. To mortals, they would be a god. As for the true divinity boundary in the road of martial arts, this was a divine god of martial artists. A true divinity powerhouse could control an entire universe. To them, the title of true divinity was well deserved, the inner world of a divine lord martial artist is like a continent high in the skies, and above the earth were twisting rivers and towering mountains, complete with all sorts of plants and other life forms. An ordinary divine lord powerhouse could already create their own clan or establish their own eighth grade sect. They could create an inheritance that lasted for hundreds of thousands of years, become an ancient ancestor, and enjoy the devotion of countless disciples and followers. In the divine realm, a divine transformation martial artist could already wander the world. A divine lord realm martial artist was a true character that could rule an entire region. A divine lord can congeal virtual worlds within their inner universe and enjoy the glory and worship from mortals, hence, they are beings who in. The dot face of mortals is God. A divine lord martial artist can be considered an elite in all of the 33 heavens, 5, holy lord realm after one becomes a holy lord, their true essence achieves a qualitative leap, capable of supporting life inside their inner world on multiple levels and turn the vast land into a planet, akin to a virtual world. This boundary is when planets and stars are formed in one backslash s inner world, opening the vault of heaven and expanding the void.
At first, one must shatter the inner world and expand the void, one backslash s inner world backslash s continent would shatter and reform into a planet. Creating a world with planets and stars, capable of even taking in starlight from the real world. Although they are not real stars but are congealed virtually with the help from starlight outside of the body. As for their inner world, it would become a universe capable of holding this planet. A holy lord is at a boundary that can call upon the wind and rain, move mountains and establish holy lands, world king realm martial artists at and during breakthrough into world king realm will need the strength of a great world, in an extreme genius backslash case they would absorb a large planet whole. The essence of the world would then fuse with the inner world and the expanding its borders akin to a vast region of space in the divine realm. The process starts with integrating real-world material from outside the inner world. Although it may sound inconceivable but not entirely exaggerated. Since only with real material from the outside world will one backslash s inner universe truly develop with properties similar to the heavenly Tao. The inner world would become similar to an entire world like the 33 heavens, the process ends with the formation of a small world, giving it room to grow to the point that it may even hold true stars from the outside world. In the 33 heavens, a world king is considered a master of a domain, 6, in the entire divine realm, besides in Empyrean heavenly palaces, world kings are extremely rare even in a great world. They are figures that countless martial artists respect and revere. There are many peak holy lands that have inheritances of millions of years and yet they are unable to produce even a single world king. To step onto the throne of a world king, one had to encounter many lucky chances. They had to have a great will, great intelligence, a strong heart of martial arts, heaven. Defying talent, the direction of skilled masters, and countless resources stacked upon each other. Only when everything came together would one have a small chance of achieving such a boundary. An ordinary world king is capable of killing all life on a low order planet with their full strike. The world king realm is a boundary that can directly affect the future of a martial artist, this is because it can determine the achievements that a martial artist will make in their cultivation. Particularly for extreme geniuses, this realm is when one backslash s potential and lucky chances truly accumulate. Great world king realm a great world king is a cultivator who has successfully fused with one's own inner world, making the cultivator achieve a state of truly becoming king of his own world. This state can be expressed similarly as to having the presence and pressure of a planet, domineering and immovable, Usually it deals with the infusion of outside energy and mass into the inner universe and also the accumulation of energy, the process deals with cultivating inside of large bodies of mass such as planets and concentrated levels of energy such as stars. This is so that real matter and true essence will balance out each other, making it more perfect and tangible. 7. A great world king is someone with the ability to obliterate large land masses and relatively small worlds. A full strike from a great world king could obliterate an entire moon, half, Empyrean realm after assimilating enough matter, the inner universe would then become completely tangible. The inner universe would be abundant with energy and may even have vibrant life, true essence would flow throughout the void, whereas the properties of the small universe would become closer to what a true universe would be. For a martial artist, going through half, step Empyrean is an essential step in order to advance when one backslash s accumulation potential has reached the point that it can evolve, a vast and limitless strength would start to crazily gather, condensing in the center of the inner universe. It would slowly evolve into a giant phantom of a person, this supreme shadow is called a supreme divine shadow, born from the inner world and formed from the comprehensions and strengths the cultivator attained in his road of martial arts. This is in preparation for heavenly tribulation, so that the Supreme would combine with the inner world and become a true Empyrean. 8. The shadow represents the spiritual god of the world inside of the small universe. But it is just virtual since one is not yet an Empyrean. Hence they are half-step into Empyrean realm. The shadow also represents the transition of a cultivator into a supreme being, a god to billions to quadrillions of martial artists particularly in the divine realm. The divine shadow is the representation of one backslash s road toward true divinity. 
It is one backslash s accumulated experiences and comprehensions in their martial road from a great world king to a half dot step empyrean, this was an incredibly difficult step. Many powerhouses were stuck at this checkpoint for their entire lives, but once one became a half dot step empyrean and formed their own supreme phantom, then transitioning to their own true material supreme wasn't backslash t difficult at all. In other words, for most half dot step empyreans, as long as they didn't backslash t perish they would eventually be able to become empyreans. 9. Empyrean slash heavenly venerate realm when the supreme divine shadow of a martial artist takes shape, then that is the sign of one backslash s imminent breakthrough into empyrean realm. Heavenly tribulation clouds would ferment atop the martial artist until one backslash s potential is great enough to arouse the strength of the world, martial artists breaking through into empyrean realm will fuse their supreme divine shadow with their inner world. The so dot called empyrean was the supreme of the heavens and earth. Once a martial artist reached this realm, they could form a true supreme within their inner world. When a martial artist broke into the empyrean realm, their laws would sublimate, rising to the will of the heavenly Tao, and their incarnation would also become the ruler of a world. This was a challenge against the heavenly Tao, thus they had to experience heavenly tribulation. Fusing the supreme shadow with one backslash s inner world would incite heavenly tribulation. After surviving the tribulation, a martial artist's overall strength, Comprehension and closeness to the great heavenly Tao would reach a qualitative leap, this realm signifies that a cultivator has surpassed world king realm and has become equals with the heavenly Tao. They become the titled venerate of their inner world, noble and solemn like a god overseeing the world. 10. An Empyrean is someone with the ability to completely level large planets and obliterate stars, collapsing moons and sinking stars. Moreover, an extreme Empyrean has the capability to destroy great worlds with their full strike. By crossing heavenly tribulation, one could gain the right to surpass the heavenly Tao and perhaps even form their own rules. Thus, when a human could achieve such a boundary, then they would be called Empyrean, a word that means backslash, the heavens backslash, and respect. Inherently stating that a cultivator is on par with the heavenly Tao, and with that they have the right to be respected as much as the heavens. Therefore a martial artist at this boundary is one who rules beyond the strength granted by the heavens and may even be independent from it backslash s control in some ways. Note. When an extreme genius reaches the highest levels of talent possible and undergo heavenly tribulation, they would ferment a greater heavenly tribulation and an even more frightening level of power. This power would be on a scale capable of slaying empyreans and god beasts, a unique tribulation by the heavens that only true peak geniuses of a universe would dare challenge. The extreme genius would face off against past heroes that were remembered by the world. These shadows of the past were not regular past geniuses but cultivators that had eventually reached the higher levels of true divinity. Each and every one of them had similar or even greater talent compared to divine dream. The extreme genius would face them in combat and each defeat of the past heroes would give the extreme genius high-level comprehensions about the source of the world, source laws of the heavenly Tao. These source laws are notably like Grand Mist, Genesis and spiritual source laws, then, the extreme genius would need to survive the terrifying divine thunder that could slay Empyreans. This thunder would become increasingly horrific at a level that even general true divinity experts would feel dread. After withstanding the tribulation, a martial artist would be given the greatest chance of becoming Empyrean. Their body, essence and divine would reach a great refining process and reach greater levels of strength. Empyrean are the martial world equivalent of divine lord from the TMW universe, true god realm slash true divinity realm then, after heavenly venerate will one become a true divinity. A being who has become a god of martial cultivators. And the Empyrean backslash s breakthrough to true divinity is merging the royal divine shadow into one backslash s body, essence, and soul. Thus, one must break through from the shackles of the heavenly Tao and attain godhood. Therefore you are a true divinity in the very sense for your very existence is at the most pinnacle of life, a god, an all. Encompassing an almighty being, 11. 
a true divinity martial artist is someone with the ability to destroy great worlds and large stars, command the great Tao and is worshipped by martial artists. A peak true divinity on the other hand, has the ability to erupt a strike on the level of a supernova explosion from a dying star breakthrough into true divinity will inspire heavenly Tao laws and Tao clouds, but rather than a tribulation, the heavenly Tao restrains your breakthrough with divine chains, and these chains restrain you from fusing with your divine shadow. If the fusion was a success, then eventually the martial artist will be baptized by the shattered divine chains formed from heavenly Tao source laws to the point of perfection. Subsequently, what happens is that all of the subordinating concepts of the heavenly Tao such as fire laws and wind laws would reach its highest possible boundary even if one did not cultivate it, this happens because of one backslash s boundary as a true divinity can influence the laws around them, thus, each and every movement a true divinity realm martial artist makes can inspire the Tao laws and even form a Tao domain filed with the laws of the heavenly Tao, making one backslash s presence as unfathomable as the universe itself. True divinity are the equivalent of godly monarch in the TMW universe, beyond true divinity realm the so dot called beyond true god realm is a state when a martial artist has reached the highest possible boundary in the world and one backslash s laws arrive at the absolute peak, or rather the true source of the great heavenly Tao, the realm beyond divinity is more of a condition. A state when a marshal has reached the highest of high backslash s in the world or the so. Called martial peak, 12, usually, one can attain this level if a martial artist's backslash potential, destiny and ability surmount the very existence of God or even go beyond to the point that one backslash s entire existence will become equal to a universe, wielding the very strength of the universe itself. Thus, that supreme boundary is called beyond true divinity, from the very word beyond what is accepted by the universe. Hence, they are martial artists that have the very ability to establish their own universe and heavenly Tao since they themselves have outranked the universe. 13. As a supreme being, they have the very ability to destroy worlds and create them in a whim. Capable of unfathomable feats and the strength that can wreak absolute chaos everywhere, even if the entire universe was put into perspective. A wielder of almighty strength and absolute authority. Therefore a cultivator at this boundary is considerably the true sovereign of all lives subordinate to them, a master of life and death at the zenith of power, they are so powerful that they can destroy the eons of space and time, asunder the heavens and completely eradicate an entire realm. They are also referred to as celestial beings, because they are able to make the heavenly Tao itself. There are two paths to this level, that is either cultivating the inner universe to peak or the outer heaven and earth universe to peak. However, the ideal route to this level is to cultivate both the inner and outer universe to peak. Only the creator of the demon god tomb is known to have done this, the Azura Roadmaster is an outer universe cultivator while a mortal sovereign is an inner universe cultivator. Lin Ming attempts to merge both the outer and inner universe, by merging both the sacred scripture and the Azura heavenly book. Other note, the so dot called martial peak is as what Jian Baoyun foreshadowed, as to what that peak is, I don backslash, Tino. But I believe that when people see a group of mountains together, they call the top of the highest mountain a peak. The phrase can also be used in describing the beyond true divinity realm. In the case of the 33 heavens, beyond true divinity is a level equal to its own, meaning it is the absolute limit of the 33 heavens. But that is only if you put the 33 heavens as the greatest vantage point. What I am getting at is that there are countless other universes that are outside of the martial world. In Cocooned Cow Backslash S Works, he introduces a new novel, which is the sequel to this novel, True Martial World. There, he introduces a new world that company relates to martial world. Gilthuner 444, Talk, 11.58, November 26, 2017, UTC, Das Bones Crystal Stages for Holy Demon Continent In terms of influence and power, the giant demon race ranked number one within the Holy Demon Continent. This was followed by the dwarves, the primates slash Goliath, and then humans as fourth. The fae and the feral race were even lower than humans, only because of their low capacity of reproduction otherwise they would be ranked first thanks to their big capacity of understanding concepts and laws. 
Each realm have six star, soldier, each star correspond to the six first step of body transformation stages, one star. Strength training two star. Flesh training three star. Viscera training four star. Altering muscle five star. Bone forging six star. Pulse condensation general one star. Early Hotian two star. Mid Hotian three star. Late Hotian 4 star. Early Xientian 5 star. Mid Xientian 6 star. Late Xientian King 1 star. Early Revolving Core 2 star. Mid Revolving Core 3 star. Late Revolving Core 4 star. 1.2 Life Destruction 5 star. 3.4 Life Destruction 6 star. 5.6 Life Destruction Emperor 1 star. Early Divine C, LD 5.6, 2 star. Mid Divine C, LD 5.6, 3 star. Late Divine C, LD 5.6, 4 star. Early Divine Transformation 5 star. Mid Divine Transformation 6 star. Late Divine Transformation Peak Divine C Powerhouse with LD 8 almost always better than 6 star Peak Emperor but there is no 4.6 star emperors in holy demon continent there is massive gap between 3 and 4 star emperor like between 3 and 4 star king, late revolving core LD1. 2, 4 star emperor is equivalent to early divine transformation powerhouse at backslash s hard to compare due to different life destruction quality, fullness, brain, heart and other inner organs and spinal column and other bones decomposition, revolving core size, form and density, Soul Decomposition Thoroughness, C838, Martial Talent A Martial Artist Backslash S Talent was similar to their potential, but there were some slight differences, Talent was a Martial Artist Backslash S True Comprehensive Combat Strength in Comparison to their age At the same age, those that were stronger had the greater talent. At the same strength, those that were younger had the greater talent for a peerless genius, their combat strength amongst others of their realm was far, far more important than their cultivation speed. If one backslash s cultivation was low but they could jump ranks to fight, this indicated that they had tremendous potential, but if one backslash s cultivation was high and their strength was only on par with those of their realm, that was a sign they would only be able to cultivate for another realm or two before. Exhausting all their potential. After all, in a true battle, what decided victory or defeat was actual combat strength. Comprehension of laws was only an indicator of one backslash s future potential and accomplishments. If one had great attainments in laws, it was still useless if they couldn't backslash t defeat someone else but potential measures the future growth of a martial artist. A high talent didn't backslash t necessarily mean a great potential. There were many 8th stage life destruction divine sea powerhouses that for all sorts of various reasons could surpass a 9th stage life destruction divine sea powerhouse in strength. But in terms of potential, they would be surpassed at some point. In order for an ordinary genius to rise to the ranks of peerless genius, a martial artist should not only have immense talent in cultivation and perception but must also have experienced the arduous path of martial arts. For one to truly step on the path of becoming a peerless emperor, a martial artist must have experienced the winds and rain, the winding corridors of fate and most of all slaughter, to stand above thousands of stepping stones and rivers of blood. It is because a genius of martial arts is like a treasure spear. The materials and array formation used to forge it were all top class of top class ingredients, but it simply hadn't backslash t been sharpened yet. Of course, only by practicing beyond one backslash s limits may a martial artist truly bloom into glory. This process happens when one exerts themselves to the point of exhaustion, resulting in the increase of true essence and foundation. This is because a martial artist backslash s body was similar to a lake and true essence was the water within. Every time a martial artist exhausted their true essence and pushed it past the limits, that was the same as digging in the lake and making it even deeper. This process made one backslash s foundation more solid, with a deep foundation the potential would be immense.
But if it wasn't backslash T sharp enough then a genius wouldn't backslash T be able to display its true strength. First he had to sharpen and wet himself in the martial road, creating a keen edge. This would allow a martial artist to quickly bloom in terrifying glory, raising a peak genius although there were a great amount of heroic elites across the land, one could say it would be extremely hard for a single one of them to reach the level of an empyrean, this was because there were far too many factors involved in the growth of a talent. Even if a martial artist seemed extraordinary now, there might be some problems on their future road of martial arts. For instance, maybe they would exhaust all of her potential or all of their destiny. They might even go adventuring in a mystic realm and perish there, even if a genius died, they could get lost within the growing talents of the future. A genius needed fate and chances of luck to continue walking down the martial arts road. Thus, there would be very few martial artists who could really flourish and become an unmatched power. Compared to the countless martial artists in the 33 heavens, only a few hundred could become true experts and masters of their domain. Martial talent of the mortal world, lower realms, no talent cannot cultivate martial talent at the base, stages of body transformation, is something like essence collection and rate of assimilation divided by time, perception, intention and martial laws, willpower, battle spirit, soul and soul force, martial intent, control of battle spirit and essence. Peak of the deadly body of youth is 30 years the crop is not only expanding life expectancy, but slowing down the aging process c 993 inch of the various factors that made a genius, the martial talent was at the end, but that did not mean that it was not important, but the martial talent was really indispensable, it was just that in the divine kingdom there were many different methods to increase talent martial, so it was not considered very important. C1038 talent is the power of battle divided by age. Ability to overcome others of the same age and kingdom, potential is the limited, divided, age kingdom, someone in the revolving core at 30 years old can be considered as a holy or emperor grade, but someone in the revolving core at 60 years old will not even be a holy grail talent, but there are many people who reach the rotating nucleus even after 60 years of life, common grade, 1-2-3, one, slash two slash three, one year. Changing muscle before age 30 means first year talent 2 nd degree. Bone forging before 30 years means second grade talent 3 rd grade pulse condensation before 30 years means third degree talent 1x cultivation speed for the third year, it had to be known that a normal third dot degree martial artist, if they started farming at age 12, and were not supported by any special high dot quality pill, then they would be able to reach the early stage of bone forging. By the time they were 40. This period was at least 30 years. C136 human grade, for, Ho Tian at age 30 means the highest talent of the human class low grade 1.25x cultivation speed, medium grade 1.5x, high grade 1.75x, Wang Yen Feng was a 4 dot grade talent, but the truth was that the 4 dot and dot above talents were also divided into low, medium. And high dot quality Wang Yen Foam was one of the rare high dot grade talents. C34, but for a fourth. Grade martial artist, if they started in a similar situation at age 12 and also did not use any first dot line pills or cultivation methods, they would reach the early stage of bone forging when they were 30 years old. Years old. This period was 20 years C136, for a youth of 14 or 15 to reach the viscera training stage, that degree of success could only be achieved by a junior of an aristocratic family in the Sky Fortune Kingdom with at least a fourth. Grade talent C166 Earth Grade, 5, Xientian at age 30 means talent of land degree of heaven, 6, Rotary Corps before 50 means Sky Peak Grade talent, at 100 low, Est, Xientian extreme before 30 years means peak heaven degree talent, but slim chances for survival of life destruction due to crop quality, in fact it will be difficult to reach recalving core peak stage, note. Impossible to break naturally in the rotary core after 100. It was not a joke, it was not a joke. Many people did not know the cultivation of Qin Xingxuan, but Wang Yenfeng knew that it was at the height of the fourth stage of body farming cultivation, but she was younger than him for five years, 20 verses 15. Divine Phoenix Island was a first-grade sect. 
With her sixth dot grade talent, she was a single dot generation talent within the Sky Fortune Kingdom. In the Seven Profound Valleys, her talent was also good. As for Qin Xingxuan, she was only an average of the sixth grade, and the maids, at least, had talents of the sixth year. C417 about us destruction of life at age 50 means peak saint grade talent but little chance for the divine C before 100 years due to destruction life backslash s ability to survive due to the quality and speed of cultivation but with great chances of luck. Rotary core to 30 years means peak talent, 50. Low, est, all talents once limited only by energy resources and methods of cultivation of the true essence, the talent of Saint Grau requires perception for laws and has developed control of the soul for essence to progress in the destruction of life, spiritual body. She reached pulse condensation at age 15, the Ho Tian Kingdom at age 17, the Xientian Kingdom at 22, and the extreme Xientian Kingdom at the age of 26. Now, she was already half a step away from the revolving Dan Kingdom, a matter of time C215, Xian Ji was the most radiant and remarkable talent that had appeared in the South Sea Demons region in the last few hundred years. He reached the Ho Tian Kingdom at the age of 17, and he also had the perfect line of the giant demon. His talent was almost 8th grade Emperor Degree, 8, Divine C or LD Final Stages, 7.9, Almost Emperor, in 100 or before for C talent of the Divine Peak, Emperor, Divine C to 200 for Emperor backslash S degree talent LD before 30 years means Peak Emperor talent, rotating nucleus at 20.25, LD before 50 years means low, S, Emperor backslash S degree talent C767, Rotary Core at 30, at least 6 stages of destruction of life at least 2 level laws for the inner world and spiritual body, the path of the Revolutionary nucleus to the unrivaled emperor is truly a long and unbearable road. Invade the revolving nucleus before 30, the extreme revolving nucleus before 50 and become an emperor unrivaled at 100. C392 having a life of an emperor, from the old powers of the emperor level, they would reach Xientian at 20, revolving core at 30, extreme revolving core at 50, and become a peerless emperor at 100 c 510 the best chance for a martial artist to attack the realm of the divine sea was before they turned 100. If they could not achieve this, their chances of success would decline steadily every year after they reached 200. Age, it was basically impossible for them, ever, to hope to break on their own C855 sky spill continent was very limited. Not to mention features, but the environment and inheritances, there was simply a blank sign. In Sky Spill Continent, by the legacy of concepts and laws to reach the second or third boundary, this was already first class. As for the seven or eight boundaries behind it, no one on the continent Sky Spill had even heard of them before. C876 Lord Sanctified, of the Mortal World, Grade, 9, having reached a cultivation in the extreme divine sea, but still has to be a breakthrough at least seven phases of destruction of life to reach the kingdom of divine transformation without many external supports at least three level laws for the inner world and the divine body divine sea before 100 epitaph in the sky spill continent. Higher under the sky evidence. There were many accounts in the novel about consecrated lords, such as the consecrated lord on the holy demon continent who died under a dragon claw, one on the continent of heaven backslash s spill and also martial artists who allegedly ascended into the martial void. But never mentioned that his talent was greater than the emperor grade, 8, normally anyone with the kingdom of the divine sea cultivation should ascend to the divine kingdom due to the scarcity of resources on the planet of the sky spill continent Yang Yun can be considered at least as the talent of the divine transformation peak martial talent of the higher universe, 33 heavens. King Cage talent rank common divided into low, medium and high grade holy divided into low, medium and high. Grade Azura divided into human grade, land step and step untitled Azura Azura with its own unique title. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.